Hey guys, I thought I would take just a minute to talk with you all a little bit more about exactly what energy management is. This isn't something that I've read out of a book or you know, seen in a seminar or anything like that. This is something that is kind of my own idea of about what it is just from the years that I've worked in it. My definition of energy management is controlling the utilities that we have using available technology. Energy management doesn't necessarily depend on, you know, the uh, energies out there from, you know, renewable sources. Uh, it doesn't, you know, depend on, you know, utility sources out there such as solar or anything like that. It's basically whatever the source is, whether it is a renewable, whether it is the conventional energy sources, you know, coal, gas, that sort of thing, however it is created. It is managing that utility. It is managing your water, it's managing your electricity, however it is created, whether it's by the coal, by the solar, or just whatever. You know, we can use the technologies that are available and control how we use energy, how we use the utilities, uh, whether, you know, if we're using it efficiently, we can use it much more efficiently. And that's basically what energy management is. We allow existing technology, we use existing technology to better control the utilities. Now, there are various types of technologies out there. It you know, really depends on your, your location, your environment, what works for your system. And the overall point of controlling the utilities through the technology, of course, is to reduce the costs and reduce the amount of the utility used. Uh, in any organization, one of the things that they want to do is to try to save money, whether it is a university, industrial, whatever it is. One of the things that they do is try to save money by cutting costs where they can. And that is a big part of energy management. It is, along with cutting the utility usages, it is also cutting the costs. And a lot of times, a lot of the newer technologies that uh, are out there, we can recoup the investment fairly quickly. You know, you need to be careful on the type of technologies that you invest in. However, if you invest in technologies wisely and you use them, efficiently, they will pay for themselves. Uh, basically, you know, if you can spend a dollar to save two in the long run, you know, you're, you're, you're ahead of the game by spending that dollar, getting that savings, and then using that savings to build onto your system. You know, you can, where you save in one area, you can reinvest that money to help you expand in another area. And that is a, you know, a great thing about the energy management field. It is something that in many ways it pays for itself. You're working on paying the utility costs down, you're lowering the utility costs, and the technologies and things that are necessary for doing that basically can be covered by the savings, by the energy savings. So what we're going to do, I'm going to uh, do just a series of videos, and this is the first in that series, that talks about some of the steps of implementing an energy management program. If you are at an institution that does not currently have one, this might be a little bit beneficial for you. Or if you just want to learn a little bit more about how energy management is implemented, this video series should help you. Uh, it's just going to you know, go over some of the basic steps of implementing your energy, energy management program yourself. And Anyways, guys, stay tuned. I hope you like the video. Be sure to subscribe for the latest updates and leave me any comments with questions down below. And I would appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up and look forward to the videos. If you subscribe, you'll instantly know about them as soon as they get them published. But anyways, guys, drop me any comments down below and thanks for watching.